get out. At 161st, 4 train to. And then right there, that's Yankee Stadium. Wow. Um, make sure that you cross it right. Well, this is my first time here. It's pretty, it's pretty like personal with with the public in the streets, like the I guess the New York New York bums. So it's like very personal with the crowd instead of secluding them like with like uh, with like parking lots and space. It's like right on the street walk. That's pretty awesome. That's like gate six, and that's the sub beach right there. And then there's McDonald's right there. Yeah, you gotta have your McDonald's. But then right next to McDonald's, you gotta have your BK, but there's no BK, so BK be discriminating. And you gotta have your Wendy's, but there's no Wendy's. Yankee Team Star. It's pretty damn awesome. I think this is much better than Shea Stadium, where it looks all British. This thing looks all like um, stone. It's awesome. That's like the Coliseum. Everybody got a, like an arch. It's like a limo for the big boss. Like right there parked on the street. I guess that is for the big boss. The limo is waiting for who? I want to come back. Wait, I got someone to meet here. That's why. Yeah. I was like seven minutes to film. But I should just meet, meet that person and then come back and film this thoroughly. Make like a 30 minute video in the freezing rain. Like full moon right there. It's like very personal. There's benches like right in there. That's pretty thought out. People could eat some hot dogs. Or McDonald's, but I want some BK, but no BK. It's no BK. So uh, it's your legend. Hopefully it's better than the Flushing Meadow legend. We're, we're in gate six. Subway, boom, Babe Roof Plaza. So I'm walking the Babe Roof Plaza here. Gate two. Later I'm gonna, part two, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around 360. Uh, I don't know where the old Yankee Stadium is. Cause I never went to Yankee Stadium. One of them should be at, maybe Heritage, Heritage Field is the old Yankee Stadium. Damn, it's so cold. Cold outside. It's like I could so picture it at night, like when it's no one's walking around. It's just like the whole park to yourself. It's not a park, the whole the whole aisle. Going around 360 jogging. There were no jogging here. I'm like fuck you. I just like it how personal it is. You went to the stadium. So like you walkable, trainable. Where's the parking actually? There's a parking lot over there on the side. Maybe I might not do a park six. I might just go 360. make this a quick video I'm just gonna go 360 and see like my opinion on the architect architecture architectural 
so it's like aisles and those and that should be like glass so the glasses are hard to fit in there they will never put plastic like those arches there's so many arches it's freaking awesome and there's like probably like mementos of information of bay roof i'm the bay roof aisle There's like staircases, staircases over there, going up. Pictures, bay roof, plaza, and then I'm gonna walk a little faster because I don't want to miss my meeting. I gotta do a 360. I wonder how this fast will take. Shit. Try to do it under five minutes. And there's like, I wonder if those are like glass. Definitely, definitely would not be plastic. So, but I wonder if I'm not gonna put no plastic in it. If that's glass, that's like pretty awesome too, because they, those are like tall glasses, and I and I've been watching, and I'm a big fan of that design from season one to current season, which is like 14, I think, 14, 13, 14, 14. Oh, that's awesome right there. So one of those glasses actually is worth. I mean, that's humongous. That's like the one of that shit is worth at least. 40, 40 pounds so that's like that's like 30 or smaller version so a bigger version would be worth like 250 pounds of glass it's just worth a lot man that's worth like half quarter billion quarter million sorry. no 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 sorry no it takes five million dollars to build a stadium of tax players money and then right here is so personal like you this is like a street for people to walk on so the stadium is not it's not secluded that 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 was this is like really like a brilliant idea whoever actually the Yankees always been like that but I don't live in the Bronx so I was so far away it took like two hours to get here I wish I don't want to root for the Mets though They freaking stink but They don't have like tra tradition and like prestige Well this is like regular street and this Yankee City is right next to it And it's like rooting for the Mets is like rooting for the Cubs Like why, why not just root for the White Sox? And, So like it's pretty dark here too there's no it doesn't give you that this is like a high security area it just gives you like this is just a normal building on the street so there's like no lights they did it on purpose i think you know it feels like you're just walking on the street or, or, or apartment building you don't feel like this is stadium so i'm like one in one eight one hundred hundred eight hundred eight sixty or like halfway around the cir halfway around the circle. I think this is like another entrance inside. And let's see what this is called. This is eight two. Those are like the um, car bumpers. This is probably where. Where the players come in, I think. Is it a garage or something? It's a gate too, and this is parking lot. They do have parking.
Damn, this feels so homey. I love it. It's like no one's like around there too. Like, wow, this is just like a regular block you're walking on. Huh? It's pretty awesome compared to the Met Stadium, which is so secluded, gated. It's like you could come and touch it. You could come and touch the stadium. That's how personal it is. You could probably like piss on it when you're drunk at night. If you must go to no, if you go, if you must take a piss. I mean, that's how personal it is. There's nobody. There's like no security whatsoever looking at you. But they probably do have cameras. So this is. They have a lot of. They have big ass. Um, parking lot but most people why the why won't they just take the train it's so much easier convenient I love how the lights are so low and dim Yeah, I feel so dizzy. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, maybe I'm dehydrated or something? Fuck, dude. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> This is like the final, like I'm eighth, tenth around the cir surf, the circle. It's probably a star, David. It's like entry 164th Street garage. There's more garages over there Across the street <clears throat> and I feel dehydrated I feel like oh, I feel nauseous and dizzy I feel like out of body Get this one dehydrated Or something What the fuck dude Maybe it's a cold shock <sighs> Fuck dude I feel high right now Gate 8 David Robertson Robertson You sure? They might take it down Sure, they will. You sure? It took a lot of. Let's see what's there. Jacob is there, boy. And we'll see, see. Tell you the truth, CC doesn't need to lose weight. I wish he could just go back to like eating whatever the fuck he pleases. Because when he was like e happy eating anything, he produced a wide change of picture. He's not a hater or anything. Just let him, just let him eat. Don't put him on a stress diet. Like if I'm on diet and I can't eat something, I will get stressed out. You don't need to like gain lose weight. It's a picture, man. Let him produce whatever works. Brett Gardner. Brian McCain 
I mean, it's like an honor to have your picture up here. Seriously. Carlos Beltran. Tanaka. So we're in the McDonald's, so it's 360. This is the full circle. Is that a fork? Huh. That's a fork. Why did they put a fork? Oh, the fork on the road thing? Yokiism, whatever that shit is? I don't know. There was horn over there. So this is the conclusion. 360, I'm in the edge, K6 entrance again. They have a hard rock cat in, in my steak store. Conclusion and bye-bye.